Hello guys. So to continue with the uh, rotating on balance uh, topic, I have two very simple examples uh, so that you could see how the uh, equations and formulas are used to do problems. So you guys recall that in a rotating on balance, you know, we have an unbalance of M0, right? That's the mass of unbalance at a distance E, E for eccentricity or eccentric, at a distance E from the center of the rotation. M is the total mass, which includes already M0. Uh, and uh, omega R is the frequency of the rotation. This is omega R here, this guy. So this, this is rotating. All right, uh, so now uh, let's look at our first example. By the way, uh, the formula that we came up with this non-dimensional amplitude where x is the actual steady state amplitude, right? So x here is the steady state amplitude, right? Just a particular solution, right? Okay, it becomes uh, r squared divided by square root of 1 minus r squared squared plus 2 zeta r squared. Okay, let's look at our uh, example. All right, it says if at resonance for this system shown here, at r equal 1, resonance, x, the steady state amplitude, is measured to be 0 0.05 meter. Okay, that's 5 centimeter. Assuming that this zeta of the system, the damping ratio is 0 0.1, and then, without giving you the mass of the total mass or the mass of the uh, unbalanced, they say, if the auto balance mass is estimated to be 10%, what, what does that mean? That means M0, the uh, you know, auto balance mass, uh, is equal to 10% of the total mass. So M, uppercase M over M0 becomes 10 then. And then what are we trying to find? You want to find E. E is what? The distance between M0 and the center of rotation, the, that radius, basically. Very simple problem, guys, just a plug-in. So look at this formula here and plug-in, or actually solve for E. Okay, if you go ahead and solve for E, rearrange the equation, so the equation becomes M over M0x, and then this kind of goes up here and R squared comes down. Then plug-in, M over M0, remember it's 10, x is 0 0.05 meter, right, and times, uh, and this actually, by the way, at r equal 1, I forgot to mention r equal 1, this becomes 0, this becomes 1, and this comes out of the radical, uh, since it's a squared, it comes out of the radical as just 2 zeta r. Okay, just plug in 2 zeta 0.1 and r is equal to 1, and e comes out to be 0 0.1 meter or 10 centimeters. Okay, so that's our first example. Let me go to the next page and show you something else. Another example, as it relates to our system of rotating on balance. Okay, so it is a measure that, uh, it's measured at R equal 1, which is the resonance X, the steady state amplitude, it's 10 millimeters. But if we increase the speed and and I was, um, remember, R is what? R is the ratio of omega R over omega N, right? If this becomes really large, the omega R becomes really large, and it approaches infinite. It is, a, it is measured that uh, the, the steady state amplitude remains at 2 millimeters. Based on that, estimate the damping ratio zeta. So we want to find zeta. Now you might say, well, wait a minute. I don't have any information here. Where is the mass? Where is the uh, mass of unbalance? Where is the extent, uh, you know, the, uh, that distance E? Well, look, we don't need those. This is just a ratio problem. Okay, refer to our formula, the non-dimensional amplitude, right? And just plug in the information you have. At R equal 1, X is 10. So at R equal 1, X is 10. So put 10 here. M over M0, we don't know what they are. We don't know what E is. But when R is equal to 1, what happens? This becomes 1, and this comes out to be 2 zeta. Okay, hold on to that. Now, as R approaches infinite, okay, as R approaches infinite, X is 2. Of course, we can't put infinity here, but remember from the, if you go back and look at the lecture I gave you, uh, the video lecture on this concept, 
the non-dimensional amplitude when it's drawn against the frequency ratio r for any value of zeta doesn't matter what zeta is uh, as r approaches infinite as r gets large it the this non-dimensional amplitude actually stays at one so this should be equal to one and the actual steady state amplitude is two so when you compare these two equations this one with this one see 2m over m0 e is one so what if, if i multiply this by five it becomes what 10m over m0 e which is so if i multiply this by five by the way this becomes five right so 10m over em0 which is what i have here must be equal to five so 1 over 2 zeta must be equal to 5. Therefore, zeta is equal to 1 over 10 or 0.1. See, we, we were able to estimate the frequency, the, the damping ratio rather, without having that much information. So uh, work this out uh, again and uh, just, just redo it yourself and try to see if it makes sense. As I said, we'll have you know, a virtual office hour later on this week. As always, thanks for watching and listening and stay safe and well. Thank you.